Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. I have my water, ice cold, and on the opposite spectrum of that, I have this coffee that is so scaldingly hot, I can feel my fingernails and my fingerprints. Fingernails? Fingerprints being worn to a nub through the cup itself. It's my second channel, daily vlog channel. I almost lost the intro there because this is so hot. It's, I'm gonna drink it. I'm gonna drink it. <laughs> That's hot. It's the daily. <laughs> Whoa, look at that over there. That's impressive. This is Stonewall Jackson's horse. After Stonewall Jackson died, the horse lived for a few more years. And then when the horse passed away, they had it stuffed and it's in this museum. His name was Little Sorrel and that's him right there. And that is the raincoat Stonewall Jackson was wearing when he was mortally wounded. And you can see some of the tears on the side of the arm there. And here is one of his handkerchiefs that is stained in blood. And if you look very closely, you can see his name written on the handkerchief. There is a complete arsenal down here. Look at this. The Uzi 9mm. Only what you see, pal. I say this in all seriousness. Do you think Napoleon resembles Dennis Hopper a little bit? I want you to look closely at something that's located right there. What you are looking at off in that field is a 20 foot tall Stonewall Jackson on a five foot rock base, making that a 25 foot tall dedication to the 150th year anniversary of his death by local legend Mark Klein. Look at that thing. Just hiding there in the trees. Oh, Stonewall. You're a sly devil. That building is shaped like a coffee pot. It's now currently not open, but it looks like at one time it was some sort of store or maybe a gift shop. And there's the handle right on the right hand side. Let me pour you a cup of coffee. Would you like caffeinated, or decaf, or half calf? You want a little cream and sugar in your coffee, sweetie? I think I may have officially lost my mind. Wow, look how beautiful those mountains look. Great view. Small town Virginia life. Say hello to Robot Cyborg Muffler Man. And if you look right inside the belly, there is an alien. He has the head of Robocop and some sort of weird shaped arm here on the left. His arm is a tentacle. Imagine being crushed by one of these robotic feet. Look at the size of this thing. This thing would be terrifying if you met him in a dark alley somewhere. Hopefully he's a good guy, because man, 
You do not want to upset this gentleman. At some point, look up the name Mark Klein, Virginia. You can either pause it and look it up now or wait till the vlog is over. He is basically a creative genius who is a local legend. And I don't know how many people outside of Virginia really know who he is. He has my approval. I definitely am a fan. And I'm going to show a lot of the stuff around this neck of the woods that he has created. Um, there's a dinosaur out there. I think I'm just gonna roll this window up just to be safe. There's something here in Natural Bridge, Virginia that is on its last days. In fact, it's going to be removed very shortly. And I made the pilgrimage just to document it. This recreation of Stonehenge is made completely of foam. And the rumor is all of this land is being bought, developed, and they do not want Foamhenge here anymore. Now, don't quote me on that. I could be incorrect with the specifics of what's going to happen with this land. But one thing is for sure. Within the next month or two, none of this will remain. And as you can see, by gently tapping on it, this is not stone. It's all made out of styrofoam. And it's been here for years, but not for much longer. Anyone that is a fan of monumental roadside attractions has to be a little discouraged by this. I know I am, and I would imagine so is the wizard who has been overseeing this property for quite some time. So now let's say goodbye to Foamhenge from the sky through the beauty of the majestic. Goodbye, Foamhenge. You were quite the ambiance on the mountainous hills of Natural Bridge, Virginia. And hopefully you get moved somewhere else where people can feast their eyes upon your glory, upon your majesty, Foamhenge. I'm super excited about this. Dinosaur Kingdom 2, Dinosaur Kingdom 1, was destroyed by vandals, it was burnt to the ground. But it has risen from the ashes, and now it is time to check out the sequel. This looks like something out of Little Shop of Horrors. There's a creepy eyeball with a bloody hand holding the eye. Look at this, it looks like Audrey. And then there is a sign giving us the information of what is about to be bestowed upon our vision. Trapped in 1864, Professor Klein needs to fuel his time machine. Whoa, it looks like we're going through some sort of time portal. Whoa, we're going back in time. Beware the tracks of the great white beast. You can see his footprints all in the ground here. Listen closely. Hear him, hear him out there. He's in the woods. I think he's gone. I think he's gone. Nope, nope, I was wrong. He's back there. What the heck? The fact that there are buzzards up there is not a healthy sign, nor is the fact that we're walking through the jowls of a gargantuan beast. Looks like the bridge is out, and this guy is slightly terrified. I can't blame him. I know this might be messed up, but I'm really glad that dinosaur stepped in there instead of me. Because that could have been my foot. Whoa, and here's the dinosaur that lost his limb. He's still preying on this guy. I'm not really 100% sure, but I think this slimery looking guy is trying to destroy the dinosaurs. Two-headed turtle holding a stick of dynamite. Something you don't see every day. These three gentlemen are being surrounded by dinosaurs. The look of fear on their faces cannot be ignored. 
What's Abraham Lincoln doing up there? What are you doing down there, buddy? What you doing? Oh, I see. You're milking a cow, right? You're milking a cow, getting some cow's milk to drink? Or, or not. Shh, be very quiet. Be very quiet down there, guys, because directly above you is this thing. There's like this very unusual shaped Blair Witch stick, but look on there. There is a spider, a species that I am not familiar with. Should I be this close to this? Probably not. I'm going to put you right back there. Carry on. This looks to be some sort of shelter from the dinos. I think we're safe in here. I think we're safe in here. No, we're not safe. We're not safe. Run! And clearly, this dinosaur has no respect for the dead. Why can't you just let him be? Just let him rest in peace. Oh, this rascally gorilla took this camper's clothes. You better give those back, gorilla. You better give those back. You're being watched. Be still. What do you mean there's no one out here? Who would be watching? What the heck is this? Man, I want you to take a picture. It'll last longer. This is one fully armed and operational dinosaur. What are those, Gatlin guns? Overkill, huh? Dinosaur Kingdom 2, thumbs up. I may or may not have bought a t-shirt. I have not been getting a whole heck of a lot of sleep lately due to the fact that I'm cramming so much content into these vlogs every day. I try to get down the road, see as much as I can, do as much as I can in one given day and document all of it into these daily vlogs. I really hope you enjoy the journey that I have been on. It is exciting for me to be doing as much as possible every single day, but before I know it, the day is over and it's time to edit, and then I have to try to find some sort of cell phone or Wi-Fi signal to upload the vlogs, and the next thing you know, it's like two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning before I'm finally laying my head down to rest, and since I'm an early riser, I wake up early every single day, and it's time to begin all again. I love it, but coffee is my friend. This morning I started somewhere around here, was heading this way. Right now I'm located right where the star is and I'm heading downward. That's a lot of satellites right there. Reminds me of Cable Guy. There's a little Costanza on the wall there. 